Hey guys, welcome back to the Wisdom Dollars Podcast. It's your girl Paisley, and today I have Spooky in the building. Hi. Hey, how are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Okay, guys. So today, this episode is brought to you by um the Curvy BBW Plus Fashion Show, brought to you by iHeartBBW.com, exclusively at Exotica Chicago, featuring the thigh high stockings from Carrie's Closet X.com. And we will be live on the Chatterbait stage April 29th through May 1st. And one more thing, if you go to Carrie's Closet x.com you can use promo code paisley to get 10 percent off your order 50 dollars or more all right <laughs> so let's get into this who is spooky tell everybody what spooky is hi y'all i'm spooky fat brat um i've been in the adult industry for going on four years now i think i don't know i lost track but i started off as um a webcam model and doing like um premium Snapchat. And then I just started branching out and um, making clips and getting booked for shoots. And yeah, that's what I do. Just make smut. Okay. Okay. What campsite did you start off with? I started off with my <laughs> and uh, Chatterbait. Okay. How are they? Chatterbait. Um, it was really good at first. You, when you first start camming, you get like this new girl tag. Mm -hmm. And so easy to, um, get a following on there, especially if you just start and just, you know, are super consistent. I used to go on in the mornings. I used to get out of college and get on. I used to put my kid to bed and then get on camera. Um, so that's, I don't know, just really helped my branding right away. So now I can kind of like chill a little bit while my sites do their thing mm -hmm. since I okay. kind of put cam work before. <laughs> See, I like the fact that you said that because no one else has said that. Uh, none of the other cam girls that I've interviewed just on my podcast about the new girl status and how important that is to utilize yeah. that. Yeah, that's why, like, because I want to start camming again on, like, Streammate and Cam Soda, but I have to wait till I'm, like, really committed to it, because you have to ride that, like, new girl wave, because when customers think you're new, they just throw shit at you because of your experience level, and they like to see you experiment, and they want to see you grow, and they also want to see you be weird and awkward, and you know yeah. they want to yeah I don't know <laughs> okay so did you venture off into like doing only fans or another fan site or did you just stick uh, to like streaming on cam platforms yeah I was on many vids a lot and just really hustling on there trying to you know get that top spot and then only fans came along and gave us the ability to make way more money than what a lot of us who are only doing online work you know are used to so I kind of started focusing more on OnlyFans versus everything else um but now with like you know everything going on and all the um I kind of just do a little bit of everything again mm -hmm. See, and I feel that's important because once you get on something, you ride that wave, but then you realize there's other opportunities in all these different platforms. It's like you start taking on all these platforms and just want it to be on just everywhere you possibly can to get that exposure. Right. Did you ever venture off into doing like boy girl scenes or like full porn or did you just stay cam girl? Yeah, it kind of took me a while because I was kind of unsure where I wanted to be and like where I kind of fit in um when I started off I was a little bit slimmer so a lot of people were like reluctant to shoot with me because they would say that I wasn't like BBW enough or like mm -hmm. you know like company stuff but um so I just you know would arrange my own stuff at conventions I my first boy girl scene um was a threesome with ruby sinclair and dorky darian and that was like it was really cool very amateur but it was like my first you know time i like took dick on camera so that was cool okay. um 
I just heard his name today. So I didn't know who he was. And somebody had brought him up. And they said I should interview him. Yeah, but you it's should. funny that yeah. like they said that and then like boom, here you go. You say his name. So Dorian yeah. Darren, I'm gonna get you now. <laughs> you need to get him on your show because he's um, you know, he's a male talent that is professional. He's got his own fans. He's quirky. He's got his own little look going on. And it's just, it's a fun time. It's a, you know, yeah, he's cool. Um, but I made my way to um, LA and then I shot with Jeff's models and then did a, like a little tour out there, shot in Vegas. And that kind of kicked off my like hardcore scene, I guess. Okay. So what do you like more, being on cam or doing porn? Um, I like a little bit of both. Um, I would probably cam more if people were, like, nicer. Mm -hmm. Like, people will just join and troll instead of just finding the person they actually want to see. I don't know why they would put themselves through doing anything they don't want to do. But um, I like both. I... I I don't know. I really like social media. So I think being on cam and kind of, you know, showing personality and building a fan base. I don't know. I like that stuff. So I do <coughs> love going back to camming in the future. Okay. Yeah, for sure. So have you found, cause, okay. So I feel like we've been camming around the same time. So I'll hit my four year mark in like November when I started back in 2018 like, it was on and popping. Like, it was booming. I could have a few hundred people in the room. Like, it was great. And I feel like within that first year alone is when I got to, like, that 20,000 mark on Charter Bay with the following. But then ever since then, it's kind of been dying down. But I'm still, I'm still holding on. But it's, like, it's dying down. So do you find that happened to you or has it just been consistent? Um, it has been dying down, honestly. Um, I feel like when I first started, it was booming. Premium Snapchat was like really popular. So it was like okay. really easy for me to just lay in bed and just get money from just direct selling stuff. Mm -hmm. It's definitely not like that anymore. Um, I think a mixture of OnlyFans being super cheap and then also the pandemic taking you know a lot of people's incomes and stuff has really damaged the money that we see I think 2020 though was probably my best year when people had like stimulus checks and unemployment oh yeah like okay. I miss so much <laughs> that was <laughs> sad but hopefully yeah. Okay. I would kind of agree with you. I would say 2019 and 2020 and 2019, because while it was oversaturated, it wasn't oversaturated like it is now. We got this whole pandemic wave of girls that have just kind of come in and not stole the show, but just made it harder for everybody to to win, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but so 2019 was good before people really just knew about it because I did have like those like tippers that was just coming in every day and then 2020 it dropped but then quickly picked back up like you said when everybody was getting the stimuluses then, then that shit stopped and it's like dang yeah i wish i had a time machine at this point <laughs> so okay so what's your plans for everything right now like within the next year um, this summer, I just mostly want to focus on traveling and just um, setting up, you know, like independent shoots with people. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know, really. It's just, you know, my Twitter got banned. So that kind of like set me back. And it's also Ooh. kind of um, making me think like, I don't know. It's just kind of making me think, you know, to kind of make like a, I guess, a plan to be on like separate platforms just because all these other ones are just changing their term of service. So I'm trying to figure out how I can reach, you know, mass amounts of people um, without breaking that. But I don't know. Um, I'm just going to go to some conventions, link up with some friends, 
and shoot. Uh, like I said, I want to get back in camming, but also like I have a really great home life. I'm also a mom. So I just, I like to do mom stuff too. I okay. do hair photography. So okay. what's life like outside of the sex work? 